Unix CPA March 27, calculate total asset price. Asset details belonging to each department are stored in a file in the following format, each field is comma, separated. Asset name. Asset type. Department, asset price. Write the Unix command to find the total price of assets belonging to finance department. The output should be displayed in below format. Total asset price equal total price calculated. In case there are no assets found belonging to finance department, the displayed output should be no asset found excluding the quotes. Refer to the examples below for more clarity on input and output format. The file name input will be provided as command line argument when the script containing your command will run. You can use shell variables, for example $0, $1, $2, whichever is applicable for your requirement to provide the command line argument. Note, the search for department should be case insensitive. Example 1. Input. Asset name, asset type, department, asset price. As you can see there are only three assets from finance department, their values are 50,000, 40,000, and 10,000. In the output we have to find their total, which is 10,000. Example 2. Input. As per the provided input, there is no asset belonging to finance department. So, the output is no asset found. Here we have the input. Let's begin. We will read the console and store input in s let's take while loop which will run until there is input left in console echo is used to print the output let's echo s and check what we have in s read in line one stores the first unnecessary line of console thus these are the remaining lines Let's take an array, A, which will store the string, S. Let's echo S. At stands for whole array, here we can see, the array is same as string. But, it still has, comma. To remove them, we have to use, IFS. Here we can see all the commas are removed. Let's check, what is there in, second and third index of array. Here we can see, the department and asset value, those are the only thing we want. Now our aim is to select only those, from finance department. For that we have written, if statement, which compares, array of index 2 with word finance. Let's check for same in small letters as well. Let's echo, to check, whether word 3 is finance or not, if it is, then we will echo, yet it is finance. Here we can see, we have successfully checked for word finance. Let's add one more condition for all capital finance. Let's take another variable ANS, to store total asset value. Let's add the array of 3, in ANS.
Let's echo ANS and check. We got the correct result. Let's check for another test case. It's producing zero as output, because, there is no asset from finance. But, it must echo, no asset found. To do so, we will check if the value of ANS is equal to zero. If ANS is zero then we will echo, no asset found. Else echo ANS. But we have to echo in given format only, so add, total asset price, in echo. Let's run and check. What we got. We got the correct output. Let's check for another test case. That's also correct, we have successfully passed all the test cases. Thanks for watching, Python every day, like, share, and, subscribe. Don't forget to watch, other videos on our channel, goodbye, see you in the next video.